Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am part of a soup collaboration called Soup Temper. It is hosted by Leanne over at Mennonite Farmhouse, so please go and subscribe to her and check out all the videos in this collaboration because there is a live giveaway at the end of the collaboration and the way that you win is one, you attend the live giveaway and they have door prizes, and two, leave a comment on the videos that you watch and then during the live, they will have a spin wheel that will pick a video and then we'll pick a random comment from that video. So the more videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances you have to be one of the winners. So please go and check everybody out. I am also going to be reviewing these freezer soup molds. These are one cup portions and they have a lid here and they go in the freezer. And then once they're frozen, you can vacuum seal the portions and then you'll have pre-portioned soups already frozen, ready to go. So it comes in a four pack. These are only $20 for the four of them. I think that's a great deal. So we are going to review that as well. And I am also going to be contributing a pack of these to the giveaway as one of the prizes. So make sure you're there. The giveaway is going to be on October 3rd. I will have the information listed here as well as in the description box. All right. So what soup am I making? I am going to be making a classic in my family, which is just vegetable soup. This is one of the things that my father used to make. He was not really the cook of the family. It was more of my mom, but he would get a huge roaster pan and he would put all kinds of canned goods in there and it would kind of be like a veggie stew that would feed us for a couple of days. So that is my inspiration for my soup for today. It's just an old classic family one where you go into your pantry, you see what kind of cans of veggies you need to get used up. He would also add cream of like potato soup as well to make it a little creamier. Oh, I don't have that. I'm, let me grab one. I'm gonna add a can of cream and mushroom as well. And then I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff that I have. My main thing is that I have some leftover pot roast. I cooked this in the crock pot last night. And then this is just canned carrots that I heated up in the microwave. And then I air fried a couple of my home canned potatoes. So I'm going to dice all this up and we're gonna make like a beef stew out of leftover pot roast. It's one of my favorite ways to use leftover pot roast. I have an extra can of diced potatoes here in case I need it if I don't feel like that is enough. And then you saw the cream of mushroom soup. For the stock, I have some beautiful corn cob stock here that I made. I can have the video linked below where I made this. I just recently restocked and it is gorgeous and it adds kind of like a sweetness. So I'm gonna add this, but you could also add either chicken stock, you could add tomato juice, you could just do vegetable stock, whatever kind of like a liquid you would like. I like tomato juice as well, I will use that. And then I've had this can in my pantry for a while, not really knowing what to do with it, but it's just three different types of beans. So you know what? I'm just gonna throw this in there because I'm gonna put beans in this. I don't think my dad ever put beans in his, but I'm doing it in mine. So we're gonna throw this in there, these triple beans, and then I also have a can of home canned pinto beans in tomato sauce. So they're kind of like chili beans, I guess, but I didn't have any flavor, just pinto beans and tomato juice is what I canned this in. So we're gonna put that in there. And then I have a huge can of veggie all that we're gonna put in there. And then I have one last can of diced roasted tomatoes. I think that sounds really good. I'm going to cook this on my stove in my big cast iron skillet, but you can also do this in a crock pot. Like I said, my dad would always do it in a roaster. Um, you could probably throw this in the Instant Pot, but I'm just gonna throw mine on the stove and just boil it for a bit. And then for the leftovers, we're gonna try our molds. I will have, I'm definitely gonna be making enough to fill these up and I'll get those in the freezer tonight and then we'll check them out tomorrow. So that's where I'm at right now. If you are new to my channel, my name is Carolina. I live in Montana. I do a lot of pantry cooking, budget shopping, and product reviews on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. I'd love to have you come join my YouTube family. I also have a Facebook group, Mama Bear Homestead. Please come and join us over there. I do a lot of quizzes or recipe sharing, or sometimes I'll just throw up a random picture of my day. So please come and join me on Facebook. I would love to get to know you. I guess I'm gonna open up all my cans. I'm going to dice my beef and my potatoes, and then I'll bring you back as I put it all together. I am done prepping. I got my meat all chopped up. This was all of that was left, was, was probably like half of it, so two pounds. And then here are the potatoes and the carrots, which I think is going to be enough. I am not going to open up 
this last can of potatoes because we do have this veggie all which also has carrots and potatoes in it as well so we are not going to need that extra one i have my three beans here opened up plus my home canned beans with tomato sauce the cream of mushroom looking nice and thick then we have my beautiful corn cob stock please make sure you check out that video it is so good if you have not heard of it or made it before you definitely need to try it and then my can of tomatoes. So let me bring it in close and let's get this all put in the pot together. All right. First can of veggies. Second thing of veggies. Beans. With the sound effects. Okay. Let's do these beans. All right. Cream of mushroom. Once you say the hi yeah, that gets it out. Hi yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, definitely one of those. Uh, you gotta trust the process with that. All right, let's add all of our meat. There we go. Can of diced roasted tomatoes, and then our corn cob stock. And let's see if that's kind of enough liquid. And then once that cream of mushroom, you know, heats up, it'll disperse. Wow, I think that looks really good. I'm not going to add any other seasonings. I do like to doctor it up once it's done. Um, actually, you know what? I lied. I am going to add some Who's Your Sister sauce. I think that goes really well with beef. So just a couple of splashes. Let's mix this up. Now, it is only... 12 15 in the afternoon and i'm going to be making this for dinner around six o'clock so my plan you know what this needs one more thing hold on it does not have enough corn for me so i'm going to throw in a can of corn as well as a can of creamed corn because i think that'll kind of help thicken it up as well and my kids don't necessarily like the cream corn it's kind of weird for them i love creamed corn i can eat it straight out of the can whole can all right, cream corn. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that kind of looked good. Look, it changed the color a little bit. I'll just do, added a bit more corn. I think that's good. I will leave this one out. I think just that one can of cream corn made a difference. All right, so this is what it looks like cold. I am not gonna put this on the stove till about four o'clock. And then I'll get it on a low simmer, start coming up to temperature. And then I'll be able to taste it and kind of add more seasonings, which I will include you in. That's one of our favorite soups. It's just kind of pantry soup where you just throw whatever you kind of need to get used up. You're kind of eyeballing it. I looked at it. I was like, man, I feel like it needs more corn. So we added more corn. So definitely it is a good stew that you can change to suit your family. So I'm gonna put the lid on this and I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for now until it's time to put it on the stove. And then once it's brought up and it looks good, I'll bring it back and then we'll taste it and we'll see what it needs. I just wanna take a moment and show you all the cans that I got out of my pantry by making this soup that'll probably feed us for today, tomorrow, and probably some leftovers. Plus I got two left things of leftovers out. Oh man. Oh yeah, it looks delish. Hey guys. So I had it on here. It's been on here just heating up probably about an hour simmering away. Let's go ahead and try the broth. I definitely need some seasoning. During the move, I discovered some seasonings that I need to get used up. And this is one. It just has a very little left and it's like a veggie roaster seasoning. It's got sea salt, dehydrated onion, garlic, brown sugar, black pepper, rosemary thyme, vinegar powder, interesting, sherry wine powder. So it's just got a bunch of little different ingredients and stuff in there. So we're gonna put that, that in there. I think a lot of that's gonna go well. And look at that. Got another thing out of my pantry. I'm really glad I added that cream of mushroom soup. I think it really helped make it kind of thick, you know, so it's not quite as thin. Another try. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. So I have some 
garlic parmesan orbison bread that I got on sale at Super One. Two dollars for this. Now this is going to be quite a tasty dinner, yeah, yeah. All right, that was mostly for the thumbnail. All right, so I'm going to get this served up. We're just going to have some buttered bread with it. Once it's cooled down, we'll get it in the freezer mold and throw it in the freezer. I can't wait to see how they work. Hey, everybody, good morning. It is the next day. That soup was fantastic with that bread that we had. I went ahead and portioned some and put it in the freezer to try our wonderful soup molds. So here it is, look at that. Now this is exactly one cup, I believe. Now I took it straight out of the freezer. I have not let it thawed at all because I wanted to see how easy it was to get out. Oh, coming straight up. All right, here we go. And then I went ahead and got a bag, labeled it freezer bag. Pop this in here. Oh well, I'm just gonna do it this way. Ooh, that popped out beautifully. Oh, I might have room for four in there. I was just going to do two. So you could probably fit one more, probably three and a quart. Or a, yeah, this is a quart. Or you can just do two, make sure there's no air in there. You could also always vacuum seal this if you want to keep it for a longer term in your freezer. Look at that, now you have two portions of soup, or you can thaw it all and have one big portion. Um, I'm sure you can cook this directly in the microwave. And then I still have one more that I can do another one. We also have, we ate a bunch and then we have enough for leftovers for one more meal. And then we have four portions. So this would be great to like send for husband for lunch. Like I could put it in a jar or a container and then by the time he gets to work, it'll be thawed or he can heat it up. So this is gonna be absolutely fantastic. And don't forget, these are dishwasher safe. So you can just chuck this in the dishwasher as soon as you're done. I absolutely love these molds. I have always wanted a pair. Now they are only $20, so make sure you give them a try. Use my link below. Don't forget, I'm also gonna be giving one away in our live giveaway on October 3rd. Please make sure that you go to that. And don't forget to check out all the soups in this collaboration. Leave a comment on each video to up your chances on winning at the live giveaway. And thank you, Leanne, over at Mennonite Farmhouse for including me in this collaboration and for working with me. You're such a gracious hostess. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Mama Bears. Yeah.